I really can go back to what it felt like being a child. That was Tommy DePaola back in 2014, appearing on New Hampshire Chronicle, talking about his success as a children's author. He always came across as so young. It's just, no matter what his age was, it's still a shock and very devastating. Michael Herman, owner of Gibson's Bookstore in Concord, just got the news he passed away. I remember when I first bought Gibson's, he was already just such a legend. I was so nervous to meet him, but then when I did, Oh, he was just very generous with his time and just really full of fun. And De Paola created hundreds of books during his career, including Strega Nona. Wonderful artist. He's a, he kept um, exploring new new avenues in his art up well into his 80s, right You know, right through his last book. Just the sweetness of, of his soul would always just come through, no matter what his text was. And his art was just always so imaginative. Herman even has an original illustration hanging in his house. I'm just here sort of representing thousands of people. There's no, there's nothing special about me. There are a lot of people who who knew him so well. Alan Chong, the director of the Courier Museum in Manchester, recalls meeting him several years ago. Tommy DiPaolo is one of the great artists of the state, uh, greatly beloved for his personality. In 2018, his work was shown during a special exhibition that Chong won't forget. And I think it's that fusion of his life and his art that was really so special, and we'll miss him very much. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.